UG Chapters of English Affiliated to BCU for some BCA Eight another poem Oh, how I love your streets Written by Faiz Ahmad Faiz Let's know more about the poet He is a very well-known poet And a celebrated Pakistani Urdu poet Faiz Ahmad Faiz was born in 1911, died 1984, is one of the most celebrated and probably the greatest Pakistani Urdu poets. He was influenced by the works of Iqbal and Mirza Ghalib. His poems assimilate modern Urdu with the classical focusing excessively on expansion of socialism in the country. He spent many years in prison for opposing the oppressive regime. He spent his last days in exile. The poem, Oh How I Love Your Streets, elaborates on that style of functioning of an oppressive regime. The poem, though, paints a bleak picture of land of poet's birth crumbling under an oppressive regime. It ends on a high note of hope. Let's read the poem. Oh, how I love your streets, my land of birth, where no one may walk, no walk with head held high. And those who venture out at the risk of life and limb must keep their eyes to the ground. New rules, new regulations have been laid down. Dogs are free to roam, but stones are locked away. No excuse do the oppressors need, for they are now both judge and prosecutor. But man has always fought oppression. The oppressors way ha- haven't changed nor the ways of those who fight back. Our flowers have always bloomed to fire. Oppression never wins and we never lose. The oppressor writes high today, playing God for a few days. But those who keep the faith can deal with fortunes, ups and downs. Translation from Urdu by Khalid Hassan So let's know the analysis. Analysis of the poem starts with a bleak note of a centric oppressor, a person who oppresses people. A dictator how cruelly rules the country and forces the citizens to abide on the rules and regulations laid by them. The poet says that the dogs are free to roam here. He compares dogs to the oppressors who are free to roam, unlike citizens who are not free. Even all the stones are locked away. The oppressor does not need an excuse for their cruelty as they are the one who judge as well as prosecutors who have their own laws and laws are in their own hands. The oppressor's ways haven't changed for years nor the ways of those who fight with it or with oppressor. There are few people who do not abide by the rules of oppressors and disobey. The poem is valid even in today's time as well. And there are many live examples in the present scenario if you take a look on the current world affairs. There are some pointers here for all of you. The poet instills hope that flowers have bloomed through fire. Poet compares flower to people and fire to the oppressors. People haven't given up. They have faith that oppressors will never win and people who fight back with them never lose. The oppressors ride very high today and they behave as they are powerful. They pretend to be omnipotent and play God to the people for a few days until they reach to power. The poet instills a strong note of faith and hope as faith in oneself and perseverance is needed to wade through dark times. I need to deal with oppressor people who have faith can deal with up and downs and will fight back. And definitely, always behind the dark clouds, there is a thin silver lining which gives a ray of hope. And the present situation of corona or COVID-19 crisis and the pandemic which is going across the globe is also another example how we are all fighting it back. So, with hope and faith in the hearts, let's strive for being a better citizen, a better human being. Signing off, Alianas. Stay home, stay safe.